long day today. Long day today. I mean, I, I, I started I started the day at about four o'clock in the morning. I got it I got a three stop trip. Now let me let me before I even get into this commentary right quick, let me just break a little thing called LTL partial freight. All right. Let's talk a little bit about that because this is part of trucking that a lot of you guys might not know about. Now, I had my issues uh, with trying to find out what all these abbreviated uh, LTL, LT, all that, all that stuff. So this is less than the truckload company that I work for. Um, what they do, they have drivers pick up freight from different places as always you know you go and pick up the stuff you bring it here you pick up the stuff you bring it there but in this particular thing it's like you go pick up you pick up all the freight you bring it to the terminal and then the terminal consolidates the freight into the areas where they go all right let, let me explain a little bit so Right now, the area that I'm in is like heading towards Texas. So if they got freight that's going down to Texas, along the way, they're going to have other freight that's dropped off at other points on your way down to Texas. So in my case, I had two stops in Missouri. My first stop was at seven o'clock this morning which means that i had to get up like super early to make that seven o'clock appointment which i did by the way a uh, big ass playground thing i don't know what it was but it was huge um they they didn't even have a hard time getting it off the truck but it was it was funny i should have took a picture of it but i but i didn't but anyway uh, that was seven o'clock in the morning. My next drop off was a little bit for about three, four hours down the way, still in Missouri. That was my second stop. And I had that to be done today. My third and final stop is in Texas. Um, unfortunately, we had to change the delivery time because with the time constraint that I that I, you know, if I would have shut down where I was at, I would have did my 10 hour. I would have got up at about 10 o'clock and I still wouldn't have made my 3 a.m. appointment because I was, was still about seven or eight hours away. Second scenario was I would have drove out the four hours that I had left, which I did, by the way, uh, drove out the four hours, take my 10 hours, and then I would get up past the delivery time. So we we had to change it. Unfortunately, um, we, you know, being that this is a grocery store, and you guys know what, what's up with grocery stores. Um, this is a late night load. I mean, late night delivery, because, you know, of course, you know, they get all their deliveries in, you know, overnight so that they day shift drivers can drive it to the uh to the stores during the day so that's about it that was my day so let's get into today's commentary ryan little <laughs> what's going on everybody welcome to the commentary for today today is monday i think monday is it monday yes yes today is monday I'm glad that you guys could uh, get with me this evening. How you guys doing? Yo, I hope you guys enjoyed that uh, that skit video that I did with uh, that interview that I did with Gail Kim today or Gail King. You know what I'm saying? She asked me the hard questions and I gave her the hard answers. You know what I'm saying? You know, my name was thrown out there, thrown up under the mud and and it, it kind of got to me. I, I did a video about it. And then, you know, I, I, I talked to some people in my circle 
you know, a couple of, you know, a couple of other people came, uh, you know, some other people came back out with another video, which was, which was untrue. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you guys could go back into the archives. I'm not going to mention anything or nothing like that. I'm just going to let the videos do the talking for me. You can go back into the archives, go to the community posts and see the archive videos of what I'm talking about. Go to the archives on the community posts to see the videos that uh, that I re-release so that you guys could go judge and go see for yourself. And 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 yeah, I, I have a couple of more that I'm going to re-release as well so that uh, so that you guys could see that what was said was untrue. All right. I'm not even going to talk no more about it. We, you know what? You, you know what? Let me, let me, let me talk about energy for a minute. All right. Energy is your aura. You know what I'm saying? Toxic people brings bad energy. If you feel that, and and what that does to you, it literally, literally brings you down. Energy is 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 like when if if you drain if people drain your energy it's like a air deflate uh deflating from a balloon man it feels like it, it it feels like that when you're around toxic people they they just suck the air completely out of the room and just make you feel kind of small and 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 leak your power you don't want people to 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 mess with your energy you want to have positive vibes you want to have positive um positive auras and all like that i kind of got sucked into it you know and and it happens you know it, it happens you know but what what you do is you, you you keep going because you know what type of person you are you know and and you know what type of person that you can be you know don't don't let don't let it don't don't let it bother you you know don't don't let it bother you don't let don't believe it you know if if people want to believe it then let them believe what they what they want to uh what they want to believe man protect yourself from other people's negativity you know what i'm saying if somebody is always negative a debbie downer uh somebody that just not positive around you get that person out the way get that person out the way you you wake up in the morning bright sunshine and all like that and then you walk outside and you get with your friend that has like the thunderstorm on top of their head you don't want to be around that part right there i'm just saying you're like yo you you walk on that side of the street while i'm walk on this side of the street we're going to keep it going just like that don't try to change them all right just be thankful that you're not them all right just make sure you just keep your aura your energy make sure you just keep it clean worry about yourself instead of worry about somebody else that don't have that good juju you know what i'm saying this if they don't have that good juju you just don't want to be around them limit your time that that's what i had to do i that's what i had to do seriously i had to limit my time on on the situation that that was at hand so when you limit your time and protect your energy, everything will go smooth. All right. So check out this energy, which which was bad all the way around the globe, man. I mean, all all the way around on this one. So in the great state of Virginia, yes, sir, the great state of Virginia in particularly the town of Windsor. This is how your American serviceman is treated in the great state of Virginia. Let me let me tell you. It's uh this police officer, Joe Gutierrez. I can't pronounce your name, sir, so if I mess it up, I'm sorry, but you really 
need to be called something else. But I'm just trying to keep, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to keep myself cordial. You see what I'm saying? Okay, because you you really need to be called something else right now. So back in December, which is December 5th, which is a couple of months ago, and why are we finding out about this stuff now? Because I'll tell you why. It's because they're going, they, they going through the litigation and it took them that long to do the investigation to finally fire this man because of an incident that happened on camera. The police officers of the great state of Virginia, in particularly uh, the city or the small town of Windsor, held an army officer at gunpoint. Army officer, mind you, they handcuffed him, doused him with pepper spray, and all doing an illegal stop. There was two officers in the video, but one officer was fired. I think both of them should have been fired, right? Right? But let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Is being fired a good uh a good punishment for for this uh for this officer i mean it would have been george floyd all over again but this time this time this was a blatant profile if i ever ever seen it this man was pulled over because his windows was tinted he was driving slow and they claim that they didn't see no license plates in the in the car now okay okay i get it i get it i know what y'all about to say i know what you guys about to say i get it i know exactly what you guys is about to say all right you guys is about to say, yo, they was they was doing their job. Number one, the tenant windows. Number two, the drive of the car driving so conspicuously. And number three, they didn't see no tag on the car. Okay. Okay. I give you that. I give you that. No problem. So the guy drove about an extra five miles to a lit place a busy place, which was good, which was good. And then he raised down the window and then asked the officers what was going on. The officers didn't even, they, they, they didn't even say why they pulled him over. They didn't even, they didn't even check them out. They got out of the car, guns drawn and booyah, ready, re ready for war. They war ready right now. The dude, the, the one dude scooted up to the front and I mean, I mean, common sense would have been like, yo, I, I, I seen him in his in his garb, his army garb. You know. But. It is what it is, man. Uh, the internal investigation in the great state of Virginia. In particularly Windsor. They said that this man did not follow uh, for for Gutierrez. They fired him because they said that he did not follow department policy. Other than that, they did not provide no other information. And they go to the go to that. We are requiring additional training. Now, I know what you guys are going to say when y'all see the video. Y'all going to be like, y'all going to form your own opinion, and I'm going to let y'all do that because my opinion is already formed, but I'm not going to, I'm, I'm going to let y'all do it. I'm going to let, I'm going to let y'all form the opinion, all right? I'm going to let y'all form the opinion. Um, the incident report says that Nazario was initially pulled over for not having tags displayed 
on this F, uh, SUV. But as you could clearly see in the video that you guys might have to pause it or whatever, you could see in the body cam footage that the, that the Taz was visible. All right. They said that he was uh he was released without charge. She my man said bump all that. They they illegally searched my car and they violated my constitutional rights. I am I am a goddamn serviceman, bro. In the US fucking army. And 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 you got you you got police officers treating servicemen like that, man. That's messed up, man. I, 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 you, the servicemen gets no fucking respect. They go out there, put their lives on the line, and then when they come back home, to get treated like that. They out there on the front lines. It might not be no war now, but when it was war then, they was out there on the front lines getting blown up by by POWs and all that other bullshit, but only to come home to get treated like this by a government service? Come on, man. Come on. Some Somebody help me out. Some somebody help me out with this. Get out of the car now! Open the door. Get out of the car. Hold, still, hold, 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 hold. Keep your hands outside the window. You received an order. Obey it. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly afraid to get out. Can I? Yeah, you. You should be. Get out. What's get out! On? Get out the like car! Get out now! I have not Back up, Daniel. I didn't do anything. Back up. Whoa! Hold he was given an order. Obey it, man. I I I feel like the I, I feel like the dude. I I am like literally scared for my life right now, bro. I mean, you see, you you see, I'm a I'm an army dude. I'm I'm in my army stuff. I'm a serviceman. What the what what's going on, man? This right here could have been a government vehicle. Didn't they stop to think about that? Hold on. Daniel. What's going on? Hold on. Oh. Watch it. Now I know what you guys are gonna say. I'll say it for you. Racial profiling. Get out of the car. Get up. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground now. Get on the ground or you're getting sprayed again. Get on the ground. Can you please talk to me about what's going on? Get on the ground. Get on the ground now. Can you please talk to me about what's going on? Can you please talk to me about what's going on? There, there was more to it because he was also recording from his phone. And believe me, I, I tried my damnedest. I scoured the internet to look for the uh, the cell phone video. I went on it. I went on uh, Facebook. I put his name in Facebook. I, I don't think he even have a Facebook account, but uh, I put his name on Facebook. I put his name on Instagram, and I couldn't find it. So if any one of y'all have uh, the cell phone video, please send it in. And I will commentate on that. But what do you guys think uh, think of that, though? What do you guys think of that? I mean, that 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 was that, uh, that was a blatant a Bruce of power, right? And I mean, I understand the cops. I get it. Windows tinted, driving slow, could have been. It, it, it probably could have been worse than what it was. But when they got in the light, when they got him pulled over, they seen him in his in his garb. And I mean, he was calm throughout the whole entire thing. But check this out. Check this out, though. All right. Let's go to the news report.
One of the police officers involved in a controversial traffic stop of a black and Latino army officer in December has been fired. Body camera footage shows Windsor, Virginia police officers Joe Gutierrez and Daniel Crocker pointing their guns at Army 2nd Lieutenant Karan Nazario before Gutierrez pepper sprays him. Lieutenant Nazario was released without being charged and he is now suing both officers. CBS News correspondent Christina Ruffini has the story. What's going on? How many occupants are in your vehicle? It's only myself. Why are your weapons drawn? What's going on? The door slowly. Step out. Get out. Get out, Get out the car. Get out now. I have not committed any crime. In body camera and cell phone Get video, Army 2nd Lieutenant Caron Nazario, still in his uniform, holds his hands out the window of his new car, while two Windsor, Virginia police officers. Now, at first, at first, the, the officer says you're under arrest, but then he quickly changed it to you being detained so i guess the question is why am i being detained you didn't even tell him you 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 didn't even tell him why you stopped him for i mean usually when when you get pulled over in a traffic stop the officer would get out of the car maybe he'll still be gun ready but the officer would get out of the car he'll probably stay a little bit of distance you know, just in case, you know, tenant windows, if there was anybody else in the car, he's still gun ready. And then he'll come up to the car and tell, hey, you know, I'm officer such and such of the great state of Virginia, in particular, Windsor County. Um, I pulled you over for such and such. Then he would have noticed the the army fatigue, then I'm understanding the conversation probably would have switched over to, hey, you know, you're a serviceman, you know, what what uh what branch, yada yada yada. But no, 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 that that wasn't the case here. Guns drawn, order him to get out. I'm honestly afraid to get out. Can I? Yeah, you, you should be. Get out of the car now. Get out of the car. Get your hands off me, get please. Get your hands off me. You know what? Get your hands off me. Not get your problem. hands off me. Up, I didn't do anything. Don't do that. Sir. Nazario repeatedly asks why he's been pulled over before ex-officer Joe Gutierrez pepper sprays him through the open window. Sir, just get out the car. I'm trying to breathe. Ugh. My dog is in the back. My dog is choking right Get now. Get out of the car. Nazario is then kicked, forced to the ground, and put in handcuffs. Why am I being treated like this? Why? You're not cooperating. The incident report says Nazario was pulled over for not having tags displayed on his SUV. But the temporary dealer plate is visible in the officer's body cam video. What the... See, see what I'm saying? You, you see how they trying to... Do you, you see what they doing? They trying to doctor up the report. Uh, he didn't have a tag on his car. But you walk, usually if it's a brand new car, you can legally put the dealer tag or the temp, or, or the temp tag in the back of the window of the car, which was visible, as you guys could see. The report also said officers treated it as a high-risk stop because Nazario had tinted windows. Oh, I, I, I just said it, right? Racial profiling. Mm. Hey, uh, I'm going to check this car out because it has dark tinted windows. All right, I'll come up and give you some backup. <laughs> okay, I'm about to go ahead and hit. I'm about to go ahead and hit the lights and and see what's up with this guy. <laughs> okay, we're coming. And drove at a very low speed to a gas station before pulling over. A move Gutierrez later said he understood. As far as you not stopping and because you weren't comfortable and you wanted a well lit spot. That happens he did everything that we are told to do to, to for everyone's sake. Attorney Jonathan Arthur represents Nazario. When you look in your rearview mirror and you see two firearms trained at you, you've got to get real calm real quick if you want to get out of there alive. You know, it's a credit to his training. What are you, a specialist, Corporal? What are you? I'm a lieutenant. Look. According to the law... What the... 
That's what I'm saying. The, the blatant disrespect right here. A corporal? A private? Bruh said, yo, I'm a lieutenant, B. In the U.S. goddamn army. Getting treated like by, by, by public servicemen. Oh, my God. Suit. The officers also threatened to derail Nazario's military career if he pursued further action against them. Well, yo, you heard that? Uh, let's see what she say. Hold on. Suit. The listen, listen to what. Right here. Suit. The officers also threatened to derail Nazario's military career if he pursued further action against them. If you want to just chill, let this go, and no charges filed, we'll take the handcuffs off, we'll get you a bottle of water to drink on, and sit here until you feel comfortable driving. Are you serious? Are you, are you fucking serious right now? You, you pulled me over illegally. You pepper sprayed me. You disrespected me. You disrespected the uniform. And then you're going to come back and try and tell me, uh, if, if you don't want to file charges or anything like that, we could, we could let you go. We, we'll take the handcuffs off and, and we'll let you go. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Now, after that search of his vehicle turned up no violations, Nazario was released without charge. The governor of Virginia has asked state police to investigate the incident. CBS News reached out to the Windsor Police Department. We did not hear back. Anthony Nazario's attorney said he wanted to file the lawsuit to hold these two officers accountable. And so these kinds of stops stop happening. Damn right, man. Sue the fuck out of their ass. Sue the fuck out of the officers. Sue the fuck out of both of them. Both of them. Sue they asses for all they all they residuals, all they fucking uh uh what what they what what they got uh what what do you get yo the the retirement pay make them pay this dude all the way up until they hit the ground not just not just for the city in the great state of Virginia not for the city to come in and try to save face and say hey uh we'll uh we'll settle for this amount of money no no mm -mm. no we 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 gonna take this all the way bro i was disrespected as a member of the u.s fucking army this 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 uniform this black man the whole aura. And then y'all try to whitewash the shit. Oh, I, oh, we pulled him over because he had uh, tenant windows. Well, maybe, you know, he just got the car. The car's brand new. Maybe the car would have been a government issue car. Would Have you ever thought about that? You, you going to pull the man out. Kick him down, spray him, and disrespect this man. A serviceman that's that's given uh, that's given the duty to his country. You see, that's that's why that's that's why I I, I notice I, I notice a lot of uh a lot of these servicemen they disrespect it. It's supposed to it's supposed to be unity over here and it's not. You know? Not even a thank you for 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 your service. You know what? I, I need to get somebody on that's a that that did a stint in the army. Um you know what? I am gonna get somebody on. I'm gonna find somebody tomorrow and we gonna and we gonna further talk about this incident that happened to this young man 
Everybody, y'all take it easy. I really do appreciate y'all being here tonight for this uh, commentary. Thank you very much for watching. You like content like this and more. Don't forget to like the video, period. Okay, period. You have any videos you want me to check out, send them to me. Let me know what you got for me in the DM over at Instagram. Uh, or hit me up in the Gmail. That's lockoutmengmail at gmail at gmail. Lockoutmenpodcast at gmail.com. If you guys is interested in coming on, questions or answers or anything like that, let me know. And, yo, I got I to gotta do the shout-outs. It is shout-out time. Yes, sir. Shout out to ShipX. That's what's up. You guys, if you guys is interested in ShipX and you want to know what they got, make sure you check out the interview with uh, Monica. She would explain everything to you from the salary to the company paid benefits. All right. ShipX. Um, U.S. Health Advisors. Get a hold of them at U.S. Health Advisors. Dot com my man jc if you're an owner operator or a company driver that don't have no insurance they got he has affordable insurance that you can uh, look up and get set for yourself all right m way trucking or m way transportation a minority owned trucking company out of the great state of north carolina if i'm not mistaken definitely look up m way transportation uh, look them up on Facebook and see what they got for you. SYCS Trucking Company out of Georgia. Make sure you check out the interview that I did with Trucker Girl. Great interview. She also has, she's, her company has mustered up $2.9 million in, in the last year alone. 16 trucks, eight more on the way. So she's looking for drivers. S-Y-C-S Trucking Company dot com. Definitely or dot uh, this type of thing. You should be able to bring it up. Truckers path. Period. You're looking for you're looking for a place to park like I did tonight. You know, the loves next door was like super, super packed. The mom and pops right down the street. Courtesy of Truckers Path. Plenty of parking. There's listen. Let me tell you something. There's going to always be parking somewhere. You don't have to worry about paying extra fees for extra, I mean, extra parking and all like that. Get Trucker's Path and you can find an adequate truck parking spot anywhere. Unless you work for a company that pays for your, uh, that pays for your parking for you. Also, Last but not least, CLE Trucking Company out of Norfolk, Ohio. If you guys is interested, if you live in the Ohio or Cleveland area, or it doesn't even it doesn't even matter because they hire out of all out of all the states. They are LTL company that has freight moved every day, all the time. You want some? You want to come to a company that's gonna burn the clock? CLE Transportation is the company to go to. Make sure you hit up Michelle. Uh, you can look her up on Facebook, up under CLE, and see what they have to offer for you. Until next time, everybody, y'all take it easy. Peace. Ryan Little. <laughs>